hello friends welcome to the new tutorial of uh, google analytics for enhanced e-commerce tracking and round mode expert in google analytics for um, enhanced e-commerce tracking from browser side and server side and facebook conversion api tracking and also google ads conversion tracking and linkedin tracking order tracking um, microsoft query tracking so if you need all the service have me i will set up everything very perfectly and in a customized way through google tag manager so let's get started in this video i'll show you how to track view item event so i'm doing it on our website in the previous video i showed you how to connect your website with this google tag manager and how to connect your google analytics 4 with your website through this tag manager so today's videos uh, i will show you how to track view item event so first of all come to your google tag manager as well as connect to the debugging mode then come to your uh, google analytics 4 so that you can check later and let's get started so first of all click on any product to see the view item data in the debugging mode right so let's just click uh, this product name is anti agging skin tanner you can see and again tenant this has been already loaded and you can see there is window loaded dom ready container loaded everything has been loaded so uh, let's see uh, there is no few item uh, event here because the data layer in this website is not enabled so uh, what you have to do you have to first you have to enable the data layer to enable the data layer go to the back end of your wordpress website and you click on this setting you will get the google tag manager in the previous video i showed you how to install the google tag manager plugin and how to put the gtm code uh, in this plugin so click on uh, google tag manager and from google tag manager i will uh, enable the data layer so click on this integration part and click on woocommerce so after click on WooCommerce, you will see there are uh, lots of options, but uh, you have to check these two box. Just check these two box. Uh, one is track enhanced e-commerce because uh, I am tracking enhanced e-commerce, and uh, click on this uh, cart content in data layer. So just uh, tick these two box, and after that save this. So save this the data layer will be enabled now go to your website again so uh, before that uh, let's connect to the preview mode again Click on any product now you can see here view item you can see our view item event here we have got the data you can see the data layer of view item you can see here there are lots of data so i am to track this view item so before doing that you have to know what you have to track for google analytics 4 to know that let's go to ga4 events
so these are the event that uh, you have to drop uh, for gonadis 4 you can see here there are lots of events so for one line sales these are the events so i'm going to drag this view item so click on view item you can see you have to track uh, the parameter will be a currency value and items so let's track this go to your google tag manager first and create a trigger first create a trigger first so let's create a trigger view item trigger so trigger will be custom event because uh, there is an event is firing view item so copy this view item you have to copy this exactly in some website it can be different the view item so just copy it and paste here and save this now I will create a tag for this view item event so click on new and GA name it name this tag now select as this is an event so if you have to select the google analytics gear for events select this and i have you have to select here the configuration tag in the previous video i showed you how to create configuration tag so here you have to select this configuration tag this is the configuration tag okay select this and here event name so, so what should be the event name event name you have to copy from here the event name the event name should be exactly like this otherwise it will not work so copy it from here and paste it and now now you have to add some event parameters so what will be your event parameters If you go to the recommended event view item you can see there are three parameter currency value and items so let's create currency and value and items so I will take currency here so click on the plus icon here for currency I have to create a built-in variables to build in variables click on the plus icon at the top right side corner and give it a name click on variable configuration and data layer click on data layer so I will take the data for currency from the debugging mode for view item just click on view item go to the data layer and if I take the currency here you can see the currency so this currency is under this currency is under this e-commerce so you can take like this e-commerce dot currency e-commerce dot uh, go to the debug mode and take this currency
and now I'm going to add the value of view item so for value we have to create another there will be e-commerce uh, value view item view item value So here you can see you have to take this value, this price. So if you want to take this price, so you uh, you have to take this like this e-commerce dot items dot uh, zero zero dot zero dot price e-commerce dot item dot zero dot price e-commerce dot items dot zero dot price and save this and now I have to take these items so for items click I have to create another variable this is a building variable so give it a name dlv e-commerce items click the data variable and for items i will take this items everything the whole thing i will take this so for that I have to take this e-commerce e-commerce dot take this items if I take like this uh, all this information will be gone to um, goal and is for and select this set this So I have taken these three parameter and value, currency, value, items, you can see uh, recommended events, view item and the parameter or currency value items. So I have already taken these three things. So now let's add trigger. So trigger will be uh, this view item trigger. When someone click on uh, any product, the view item uh, will be fired here and this uh, item and this tag will be fired for that trigger so just save this and go to the preview mode to check whether uh, it is working properly or not So here just click on any product then you will see the result or uh, if you want to uh, see 
whether the data is uh, going to Google Analytics 4 then you have to go to the debug mode of your Google Analytics 4 just click on the admin section admin and scroll down and here you can see the debug mode debug view click here now you will get the data here you can see page view user engagement everything is firing so when the user engagement uh, event fired uh, it is fired when uh, a user spent 10 second on the website then this user engagement fired and page view when uh, anyone visit any page then page view is fired and you can see the view item that is already fired so let's see i have sent the currency currency usd and i have also sent the value so value is 40 so let's see whether it is right or wrong click on view item and click on very uh, data layer and just check the price is 40 and here you can see the price is 40 value and you can see the items this is the items So the, this is a view item you can see here. This item name is deep cleanser. You can see the deep cleanser. So everything uh, working perfectly. So so if you want to set up everything perfectly and everything in a customized way, so I will do that. Just hire me. So thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.